Hey guys, Chris Dick here. Today we're going to wrap up our repository talk with um, delete functions. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to add in a, uh, a new function with our, uh, just to complete our CRUD functions. That's uh, create, uh, read, update, and delete. So I just copied, uh, made a copy of our update function and I'm going to rename it as delete. Okay. Now our command for this is very simple. Okay. You remember you're just putting in the, the command for deleting um, our, uh, our data here, just as you would in any SQL statement. Okay. And our statement is very simple. It's delete from addresses where address ID equals address ID. Okay. That implies that we don't need all these other parameters anymore. This is a very, very simple uh, formula or uh, uh, set of code here that we're going to be using. And uh, it can go very quick. So we're going to keep this line in here just for the sake of uh, proving that our data uh, was deleted. Uh, we, you know, we can safely say that if you know the if this parameter if this command ran, then it should be okay. So up here in program, we're going to go uh, over here and we're going to add in another line. Okay, address repository. Oops, actually we have to do this here. Do address equals address repository dot delete okay and I'm, I'm, uh, I'm going to return the delete here just to, just as a, uh, a method of showing you what the data looks like once it's uh, once it's deleted and I'm passing in an, an address object okay now your delete if you're passing in an address object that's okay um, but you're more likely to have uh, and just an integer like an ID so I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you an overload function that just simply does that. So from this point, we're gonna run this, and what you're going to see is the uh, the address will be deleted. Okay, we have our return, and you can see here it's pretty much just a bunch of nulls and uh, and minimum data or dates. Okay. And then when we return, you're going to see that um, once it prints out, that is, you'll see it just prints out kind of nonsense. Okay. Now, uh, there again, when you're trying to send a delete command, let's say you're using a website, for example, uh, you're generally not going to be passing in an entire address object. So, <clears throat> what we're going to do here now is uh, I'm going to work on a, uh, a function overload. Okay. The uh, overload for this delete will be simply we're going to send in a uh, an ID. Okay. I'm going to change this over here where it says address ID, item dot address ID. Okay. We really don't need this, so I'm going to comment that that uh, line out. Okay, we could wrap this in a try catch, but that's just a little more programming than we need to do right now. So let's not worry about that. Okay, so here in this uh, in the the delete command that um, that uh, gives us our uh, that that actually will call. This one here is going to simply call um, return. It's going to do return delete. Whoops, not date. Delete item dot address ID. Okay. And you know we kind of don't really need to worry about uh, what it returns. So I'm going to do this because really we've returned it. And we could say, you know, give it a, uh, we could actually just give it a, uh, we could give it some kind of return value, but yeah, for simplicity's sake, we're just going to do this. Okay. All right. 
And we're going to do take away that return because, of course, we just made these just void. So they're just going to do something. They're just going to delete it and then uh, and then be done with it. Okay. Um, again, we could we could simply you know have it return a value, but I'm not going to do that right now. Okay. Super. All right. Now we'll run this again. So if you look here, so this function overload, I'm passing in an address object. Okay. So we'll pass this through. We're going to run this. Okay. I have an address ID of 36. All right. It's going to uh, run into the uh, function overload with with the delete with an ID, it's passing in an ID of 36. Okay, if I run past that now, steps through here. Okay, run into it and continue. We're done. Okay, it has, doesn't have any information anymore because uh, address is still address. It's still in memory here, so it printed it out at the bottom. Okay. we retrieved it before all right excellent okay so that's our delete function it's very simple this is a very short video so uh, catch me in the next one remember to like and share